What's up, Porsche fanatics? Will here with Ren Enthusiast, my YouTube channel that is all about air-cooled Porsche 911 ownership experience. And if you are somebody who loves early 911s, then I got great news for you because that is going to be the topic of today's video. A few weeks back, I picked up an early car, a 1969 Porsche 911T hot rod. I am so excited about the car. Uh, we are getting close to getting the car back on the road. If you've been following along, then you know I, I picked the car up. Great condition, very, very solid work on the car but there were some things I wanted to do with it. I've covered those off in a couple of uh, previous videos. And so in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys an update, let you um, see the engine back in the car. And I'm gonna have Eric Lynn, the guy who's doing the work to the car, talk to you guys through what we've done to the engine. Uh, I'm also gonna reveal some interior selections and then also I'm going to reveal to you guys uh, the wheel choice that I have made. And so uh, if you are somebody who maybe owns an early 911 and you're looking for a unique wheel choice, then these might be for you. So before we jump into that, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to the channel. This is the kind of thing I do. I cover my own experience owning these uh, air-cooled Porsches and I also interview other owners and cover events. So if that's your kind of thing, click the subscribe button. Let's now jump into the main event. All right, guys, it has been a few weeks since I last published on this 69 911T hot rod, and I am here today with Eric Lynn, the dude doing the work on the car. Eric's with Sports Purpose Garage, and today I'm going to kind of take you guys through some of the work we've done, really, Eric's done. And, you know, I'd like to get some reactions to some of the choices that I've made. So, Eric, why don't we, let's... Uh, Let's start back here. We did have the engine out of the car. What I wanted to have happen is I wanted the motor gone through. I wanted the engine bay tidied up. And so here we are. Eric, you want to talk a little bit about what we've done back here? Yeah, sure. So pop the motor out, obviously. And then we sent uh, all the tins off. Um, so all this, all the heater ducts and all that went over to get Cerakoted. So they're all Cerakoted black. I uh, got some paint and I sprayed or pulled the intake stacks off and I went ahead and painted the fan shroud um, so that it matched the outside of the car and wasn't that uh, hideous 76S green anymore. Um, also had the fan redone and you can see the crank trigger set up from Cluet down here. I got some tape popping off so I'll fix that. But anyway, um, so we've now got a crank trigger ignition um, and our cool uh, RSR engine mount. Um, also cleaned up tons of extraneous wiring uh, from the engine bay. Now the only engine or the only harness that we have is coming off the alternator and the gauges here and it all runs to the back of the car so we don't have any wiring over here. Um, cleaned up this this what would normally be a, uh, a fuse panel and the, and the holder for the uh, CDI. We've got our little XDI box that runs the ignition. Um, got rid of all the extra relays and junk that we didn't need. Cleaned up some of the plumbing hid some of the relays in the back so you can't see them. And then in the very back um, behind the uh, the three plugs that are unique to the 69, we've got our electromotive uh, DFUs, which are the coils. Um, so each cylinder gets its own coil. Okay, so <clears throat> that, go ahead. Oh, sorry, forgot about the air cleaners. Oh yeah, uh, So yeah, that's got, right. This is a crowning achievement. This was a bit, it, it, literally and figuratively. So uh, what we've got are these uh, cool fiberglass uh, air, air boxes that Ed Cundin Sport makes, and he took some 916, so the V8 motors, um, air boxes, and then remolded them into six cylinder size. Um, so they work on carbureted and, uh, and they probably work on, on EFI stuff as well, and, um, and then our MFIs. So, kind of a unique look. They will get an air filter. I'm just waiting on those to show up. Uh, and we also replaced two of the injectors that were kind of crusty and uh, replaced the injection lines with fresh lines from Dave at TRE. And uh, so that just kind of cleaned everything up, made it look uh, just, just the right amount of bling. Okay, perfect. So that's the engine. Now, um, I am excited that the car has new wheels on it, which we <laughs> will share with you guys at the end of this video. So right now, let's jump, let's jump into the interior. Uh, we have replaced the steering wheel with this um, Momo here. And what, do you, what can you tell us about this here? So uh, as we sort of alluded to last time, this is a replica Momo Prototipo, an early flat face Prototipo, which I think looks killer in, in early long hood cars. Uh, this one's made by the fine folks at Zuffenhaus, uh, and they also sell it with uh, a bitchin' kind of correct uh, solid hub. Uh, that you can see there behind the wheel. So it's just kind of the right the right look, the right feel, uh, nice thick grip, and it's a little larger than the standard Momos that you would get, so you can actually see the gauges a little bit better. 
Cool, so uh, I'll put a link to this product down in the description too, in case you're interested. So let's talk about gauges, because I am freaking psyched about the gauges, man, <laughs> seriously. Any minute the truck may show up with them. Man, I hope, God. So uh, as, as we uh, talked about in the last episode, we uh, talked to John Bell out in California, who does a lot of the custom gauges for us at Sports Purpose Garage. And uh, we were fortunate that A, I had a relationship, and B, he had a bunch of cores that I sent him. So he was able to build us a new set of gauges uh, with the correct 69 uh, ivory lettering, silver dots, so they all match, uh, you know, new lenses, new bezels, the whole deal. We did a custom 10,000 RPM tack, um, and it's all set up to work off the XDI box as well. Uh, so in very short order, these uh, sort of mismatched gauges will be replaced by freshy fresh, correct looking 69 style gauges. Yes, and no Aussie blue face on the tack. We no. decided against that, much to your chagrin. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's talk about seats. If you guys saw the last video, you know that I was in the throes of trying to figure out what the right seats are to replace these. Um, older Recaros were, and I'm pleased to let you know that I have made a decision. It is the fixed back version. So Eric, let's talk about where we got them and all that good stuff. Sure, so we, we hit up uh, Roger at Classic Touring Seats out west. Um, he was able to secure us some of the uh, low side bolster fixed back seats uh, that have the cool little headrest on them in leather with a corduroy center, so it'll be very appropriate. Uh, for this you know, sports purpose inspired car. Um, be nice and light and uh, Will's gonna love them. Okay, so uh, we've done an engine update. We've done an interior update. I tell you, let us now reveal the wheels if we could. And guys, I gotta just tell you, like I am freaking stoked. I would love to hear your thoughts on I this. I feel like Vanna White. Yes, Vanna, pull that the off price there. is right. Yes. <laughs> Man, oh man, I think that is so sharp. Do you want to shut that door? Yes, sir. Awesome. And I suggest you get the other side with yeah, both wheels and yeah. the wheel lines and all that good stuff. Huh? Yep. It's a little bit hard to get the whole car in this garage, but if you guys can probably get the idea. I think these wheels suit this car so well. They are 16s. The car was running 15s before. Um, they were replica mini lights. Mm -hmm. And lights. Uh, by the way, I'll put an image of those wheels up. They are for sale. If you're interested, let me know. Uh, you can let me know in the comments or feel free to email me at therenthusiast at gmail.com. So these wheels, tell me about these wheels. So we make these wheels. Uh, I work with group four wheels in England, um, a big US distributor for their wheels. We modeled these wheels off of factory LMZ spares. Um, so they were nine axis model. They are absolutely perfect down to the smallest detail on the face. Um, and then we make them in 15s and 16s in sizes from five and a half or six inches, uh, five, five inches, sorry, in the 15s, uh, up through uh, a nine inch in uh, the 16s. So if you really want to get fat, you can, you can put a set of those on your turbo as well. Well, I couldn't be more thrilled, man. I mean, I wanted to go with the steely look and you talked to me about these um, lips on these wheels and I was a little bit skeptical, but I think it looks fantastic. <clears throat> so there's that. If you guys are interested in learning more about these wheels, I'll put Eric's contact info down in the description um, so he can tell you about that. Personally, if you want to reach out to him. So the last thing I want to draw your attention to, and this was definitely a uh, personal choice, we put an external oil cooler on the car for reasons we discussed in the last video, but the question we had was, hey, do we want to paint these lines black or do you want to leave them gold? And I elected to go with the gold. I would love to hear what your opinions are on that choice. I think some might think it was sacrilege to paint them and some might think it's an absolute travesty to leave them gold. Uh, so let me know there. So that, that's it, guys. I am psyched up about this car. I'll do two more videos, at least in the immediate future, on it. I'm going to interview the gentleman I bought the car from, uh, Mr. Charles Stanley. He's going to give us the backstory. As you guys know, each one of these 911s has a story, and so he's going to talk us through it. I'm also going to clearly give you some driving impressions, right? So um, if you're looking for an early car, I'm going to tell you what you can expect, at least out of a hot rod. So if you are still with me, I appreciate you sticking around, and I look forward to seeing you next time.